Hello and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, welcome and if you've been here before, I'm glad you're back. So you already know what's happening in this video, yeah? Because you've seen the title and you've probably seen the thumbnail. So in today's video, I'm gonna uh, do an unboxing and uh, first thoughts and maybe a bit of swatching of the new collection that Kirstie Meeking just launched. Yeah, it's her first collection that she launched and it sounds amazing. Now, the reason I bought this was because I I am a sucker for a good deal first. Second, I really needed some new colors in gel polish. And third, well, she kind of sold it to me. <laughs> I don't know, like her, her way of promoting it was absolutely incredible. And I know I've just done a video saying that influencers can really make a product look good uh, because they know how to use it, but... I've seen it used on a, her live and you can't fake that. It looked really, really nice. Um, and you know, at the end of the day, if I don't like it, I can always send it back. So no issue there. But first of all, about the, um, the price of the collection, I also want to say that I bought this with my own money. So, you know, I, I, my opinions are going to be very honest opinions. I'm not going to say anything good just because they send it to me or anything. They didn't. This was my own pocket money. <laughs> uh, but the full collection, without being in a bundle, uh, it would have uh, rounded up at 778.05 pounds plus 5 pounds shipping. Whereas if you buy it as a bundle, was 659.99 plus five pounds shipping. This is, uh, the shipping is for UK. It could be different in different countries. So, you know, that's why I didn't add it to the total. So that's an 118 pounds, 0 0.06, um, a discount, basically. So a hundred pounds discount, basically you got your lamp for free, in my opinion. That's how I think about things. So, uh, yeah. And also, I cannot wait to see the lamp. It's going to be pink inside. It's beautiful. Um, anyway. So, I, I think I covered everything. Um, I just want to show you the state of the box. Uh, so, I've got here... Uh, just a bit of damage on the side. But, you know, I mean, it's obviously the shipping... Uh, that made it like this, you know, it has to cross the water on a ferry to get to me So it's gonna be a bit more than just, you know, taking it on, taking it on the mainland somewhere But uh, yeah, anyway, yeah uh, Otherwise it looks quite good I am wearing gloves because I am gonna open products that do um, Can produce sensitivity even though they are hema free They can still produce sensitivity, they can still produce allergies And I don't know exactly how the products are going to be inside, uh, the bottles might be a bit open, they might, I don't know, one bottle might have broken, or two, or five, or seven, I have no idea, so better to wear gloves to be safe, because you're going to touch things, and yeah, uh, but um, yeah, okay, let's get to open this, <laughs> so I've got something sharp, and I am going straight in to just cut this as much as I can. <laughs> I mean, you know how to open a box, don't you? But I want you to be here when I actually open the lid. If I figure out how. God, some boxes just make me feel so uncomfortable. I don't know why. Because I'm afraid something is going to fall, I think, from different parts. So, <laughs> oh God, okay. Moving everything. <laughs> There you go, there you go. And now the moment you've all been waiting for and me, because this has been here for a while. Oh my God, I'm knocking down my lamp. Oh my God. Oh, sparkle of magic from me to you. That's so beautiful. And it's her like beautiful logo. I love it and look at this. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. No way, this is not so, no, oh, I love it. Okay, so um, thanks God my dog is not in the room because she would love to chew on this and it's not a great idea. Um, 
and oh this is awesome look at this so we've got here the first cleanup solution thing uh, this would have been as I said this, uh, for a normal price this would have been $5.99 I lost my little <laughs> paper there and then oh look at these this is the whole collection it came in like separate little boxes that also have her logo on them and they're so gorgeous oh I need to swatch these so bad um, and then I've got here obviously the lamp oh god okay I keep knocking on my lamp and look at that pink inside so uh, yeah it has instructions it, you know it's a normal box we'll 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 open that in a second and then I've got here the little buffers or files well 240 mm, buffer I would say um, and they would have been 17 pounds 0.5 pence for the buffers and then the lamp would have been 109.99 and then this whole the gel polish collection the whole thing would have been 599.6 and then the matte base and top which I'm guessing they're here so she put them a bit more separate uh, they would have been 44.97 for all three of them which in my opinion I think it's quite a good price for a gel polish considering they are quite big bottles uh, I think they're 12 mil or maybe 15 mil I'm not sure but uh, yeah anyway okay I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring you up uh, more up close and personal so we can get to swatching these and see what we think you know about the top coats and everything the base coat honestly i i could swatch it but it's it's not gonna provide me with anything unless i put it on a client or on myself so and i don't have time to do my nails today so just you know i'm i'm not gonna do that <laughs> but uh yeah anyway let's go and uh, you know get into it I just realized that I said I'm gonna open this on camera and I just then I said that I'm not gonna open it on camera <laughs> uh, so yeah so it has like a sleeve here and I am ugh, I'm always str struggling with these as I said the box is just a little bit bent so it's a bit harder for me to get that out but I don't want to ruin it because it's so pretty look at that oh my god is the best so beautiful oh uh, come on so I managed <laughs> um, I didn't want you guys to just you know kind of watch that forever and ever and oh my god no way this is beautiful already so manual we use that around here sometimes sometimes and then uh, I am sorry for the awful sight that you know my uh, my vent has there but you know that's how life is and look at it in all of its glory look at that that it's it's just so beautiful oh my god and it has a little handle for you to carry oh this is so gorgeous and so big as well like oh my god it looks more like one of those uh, uv lamps that uh, we used to have before where they were like really really big and you know you could fit in there like you and your cat and your sister i don't know but yeah anyway and then obviously the cord and I'm going to peel off this beautiful thing and I'm gonna fire it up and we'll we'll look inside and see the pink because that's that's what I'm the most excited for but also I need to peel off this because I don't want to see it anyway yeah I'll go and peel off those things and uh, plug it in and see how it is inside so electricity is going in right now 
and you can see that you know it's uh, nice and shiny and oh my god did you see that oh it's so beautiful oh this is awesome it's got sensors so as long as your hand is in there the sensors are gonna keep those lights on probably maybe for like I don't know maybe it stops at like 200 and something seconds or whatever I, I had something um, that used to do that and just stop it I don't even know when it would stop but it would stop at some point um, but then you've got the 30 seconds the 60 and the 99 which uh, is the low power and you can see it very flickery because obviously it doesn't have enough power to for the camera to pick up a constant movement or whatever it's called i have no idea i'm not good with lights um but yeah the, the 99 second thing is gonna ra um, raise up i guess i i don't know it yeah at some point it's gonna become uh the the lights are gonna become stronger as they would with the 60 or the 30 or when you just pop your hand in but that is amazing and i guess with this one you can just turn it off when it's like um, the battery is full and you're working on a battery so you're taking this you're picking it up by your handle and just like moving it around and you know yeah i guess you know you, you can turn it off so you don't lose any kind of uh, battery off of it and that light is like really shining on it okay um and then i guess this is to see how much battery you still have left i'm not sure exactly i need to look to the man through the manual because oh yeah i'll look through the manual but i guess that's how uh, it is yeah power display button so that would be the power display button and you know it would show you exactly how much battery it has but right now it's on charge so i guess if i take this off it has some charge there you go it has only one line so i guess this fills up and then yep you turn it off and on on well i guess it doesn't have enough power because i think it takes about three hours for this to charge fully and um yeah this looks awesome i love the pink inside and i know my clients are gonna absolutely love that um okay now we can move on to the actual <laughs> swatching of the gel polishes. So now that we're a bit more up close and personal, I managed to finally move around the lights and everything. It took me a lot longer than I expected. Uh, I thought I'm gonna show you this bottle more closely. So this is the cleanup solution and dehydrator. Um, this comes into 100 milliliter bottles. I know she said she kept it uh, to this small bottle just to make sure that um, she can uh, ship it internationally and I mean it's so cute look at that it has her logo on it and the color of it I absolutely love and then you've got instructions ingredients and everything um, and yeah it's it's good it does what it says you know it's a good cleanup solution in the dehydrator um you need to keep in mind that you cannot soak off extensions with these uh so you know you'd need 100 percent acetone or like 90 percent acetone or whatever uh but otherwise this is a good prep uh and finished product so you can also remove inhibition layer with it and prep your nail and clean off the dust and everything so great product I also took a very very long time to remove all the boxes <laughs> uh, from the gel polishes so I can really quickly swatch them but I did keep one box to show you how the box looks like up close so you've got her half logo here the other half on the other side and then you've got some instructions you've got um, a pointer towards where the ingredients are so the back of the bottle and then warnings and you know basically whatever a box should do all the boxes looked exactly the same so even the top coat boxes and everything else just look exactly the same and then you've got the little kind of drawer thing i don't know how to call them <laughs> insert and then this is the bottle and oh my god these are amazing so it has her little logo on here it has a nice metallic top it has a swatch of all the colors so so each color has a swatch on top so you can see them if you keep them i don't know 
somewhere showing or in a drawer i'm gonna put stickers with numbers on top because that's how i that's how my system of storing works but uh yeah if you go for the co only colors you always can just keep that and then it has what it is in the front and then on the back it has the ingredient list um again you know with like everything that it needs <laughs> and then on the bottom it has the name and the the number of the color which i love because i'm gonna keep them in the same order as she came out with them uh and then it has the curing time and then where uh they uh come from <laughs> so china um but uh yeah i absolutely love these uh she also says on her website uh, um, about her gel polishes that the Kirsty making gel polishes are highly pigmented and thinner than your average gel polish to improve the application of the product without compromising on the quality. So we will just test that, obviously. <laughs> um, so these are all the uh, bottles of gel polish look exactly the same, but the bottles of top coat base and the matte top coat look a bit different. So for the base coat, well, actually, the base coat look exact, looks exactly the same. It has the same things everywhere, um, except for the top. The top is just simple pink. And then the matte looks basically the same as the, the base coat, but it has like a matte finish on the bottle. I am in love with it. It just feels so nice. I, I touched it a little bit. <laughs> And then the shiny is this beautiful, beautiful color, rose gold color. It's, oh, I love rose gold. You you guys know I love rose gold. But uh, basically, same little details. No uh, top thing because, you know, they're bottles of uh, top coat. So they don't have any color in them. But uh, yeah, I'm absolutely in love. Also, I keep, I, I need to mention that nothing leaked at all. Um, all the bottles were extremely safe and, you know, basically not even the little boxes were damaged. So that's good. I'm, I'm happy about that. What I'll do is I will swatch one layer of each color and show you how it looks from the first layer and uh, then I'm, I'm gonna do the second one off camera because otherwise this video is gonna be so long and I'm gonna tell you about each color and you know my opinions because I haven't opened any of these and I'm so excited to see the actual colors oh okay <laughs> also keep them in order of basically her order so from 1 to 40 uh, just so they are easier to find and I'll tell you each what color it is and uh, what they're called so I'm starting off with number one which is white out and this is obviously just a plain white and okay I absolutely already love it this is so pigmented it's beautiful uh, she says that you need to apply a thin layer, which I am doing, and it does apply very, very nice and beautifully. It's not thick at all, it doesn't, it's not gloopy, so overall I'm happy with this color. Second one is called Void, and it's her black gel polish, and I have to say, you, can, you can't see anything, can you? Um... I'm just gonna pop this underneath just so you can see if it's pigmented or not and it is very pigmented I can see it in real life but it's you know <laughs> it's harder to catch on camera especially when you have like black gloves and black background <laughs> but uh, yeah it's very nicely pigmented it applies again very beautifully yeah I like it. number three is called swanky and there's this beautiful magenta purple kind of color I don't even know how to call this it's just so gorgeous I actually think I need a white background for these because you guys can't see anything but yep this is how it looks I'm gonna bring out a white background for the rest of these <laughs> number four is called gold finger and yes I do think the white background is a lot better and it's a gold glitter basically it's just so beautiful 
Oh my god, I love it. Number five is called Mercury and it's a nice silver glitter and again it's just so gorgeous and the reason I'm doing only one layer is because I want you guys to see how pigmented they are in one layer because that's how you can tell if a color is pigmented or not so you know number six is called Baba Cass and it's a beautiful multi-size glitter you've got a bit of a medium glitter in there and a very fine one and it's gorgeous absolutely beautiful i think it looks a bit better over uh, the white background but it might just be the fact that it's one coat and you know it could do it two three coats maybe but then it depends on how subtle you want your look to be in my opinion um i'll put a second coat on this and you know i'll, I'll see that number seven is called busy uh, and it's a beautiful rose gold glitter and I love this it goes very well with the lid of the bra of the um, gel polish bottle and basically everything else that she has in her collection because most things have rose gold but yeah that's gorgeous I love it number eight is called birthday suit and it's a gorgeous nude pink, I would say. Yeah, it's definitely going a bit towards pink, but very, very beautiful nude. Um, and it applies beautifully. It seems like it's gonna be very nicely pigmented. Like that's one coat. And uh, yeah, yeah, I would say that's quite pigmented. Number nine is called Jess Rabbit and it's red. It's Jessica Rabbit red. Yeah, that's just beautiful. We all need a red like this in our collection because Christmas is coming. So <laughs> it's very pigmented as you can see. Um, I'm putting it very, very thin because I am afraid that if it's too thick, it's not gonna cure. Although I don't think it's gonna be a problem necessarily, but yeah, that's beautiful. Number 10 is called Silly Billy, and it's a beautiful neon pink, like extremely beautiful neon pink. Uh, I love it <laughs> so much. Uh, again, quite pigmented and very nice and thin and easy to work with. I love it. Number 11 is called Ruth and it's a beautiful nude as you can see. It's a lot more rosy than the number 8, the birthday suit, I would say, and a bit lighter as well, but it's gorgeous. 12 is called Kurt and it's a beautiful grey. I think this one is another staple and as you can see it's very pigmented. So far, except for the gold and the silver glitter and rose gold, but hmm, even those, they are quite pigmented but at the same time it's glitter so you know, you need to have a perfect application uh, to get it very very good but so far otherwise all of the other ones are very nicely pigmented. Number 13 is called Lust and it's another red, only this one is somehow a bit different. It's a bit lighter so it goes a bit more towards orange but it's so beautiful. Let me see, I have here, here the Jessica Rabbit one and you can see that the Jessica Rabbit one is just a tad darker but it's, oh my god, it's lovely. Number 14 is called Vamp. And it's a very nice bloody red. <laughs> I would know that because we're Romanians. I'm Romanian. <laughs> Not we. I don't know who's we. But we Romanians know all about blood and Dracula and everything. So, you know. But yeah, that color is gorgeous as well. 15 is called Dorothy. And 
I already have a client that I know for sure is gonna want this. It's a very, very packed red glitter uh, in different sizes, suspended in like a jelly red kind of color. Um, it's gonna take a bit more to work with because you need those big glitters to be dispersed nicely. But I think a second coat will really fix that. But it's just so beautiful. This is gonna be a staple at Christmas as well. Number 16 is called Haley and is another nude. I love when companies come out with multiple nude colors because it's easier to match up the skin tone um, when you have, you know, multiple colors. So that's beautiful as well. I love it. Number 17 is called Cotton Candy and it's a beautiful like baby pink color. And again, that's a very thin layer and you can see how pigmented that is. But, oh, this is so lovely. Such a beautiful color. Number 18 is called Kit Kat. And it's a beautiful, beautiful nude pink kind of color. It's, it's just so gorgeous. Look at that. I will show you all of them compared just so you can see a bit of a how what the difference is between all of the nudes. So these are all the nudes compared. So the first one is Birthday Suit, second one is Ruth, third one is Haley, and Kit Kat. So you can see that they are uh, there's a nice variety of them, which I really really love. Number 19 is Diesel, and this looks like it's a um, one of those like glass like colors. So it's gonna be gorgeous but at the same time if you mix it in with a bit more top coat you get the glass color which i think is great and it's so vibrant so gorgeous number 20 is called badger and it's a beautiful purple and again i have a feeling that you could get a nice glass polish out of this as well because it's um, it looks a bit like a jelly kind of polish but again one coat that is quite pigmented for one coat I would say number 21 is called Lucy and it's a beautiful beautiful teal and I am in love with it I cannot wait to use this in a set because I have so many ideas already popping into my head but you can see it's a gorgeous color you can't even see how teal this is camera doesn't pick it up but oh well number 22 is called Suki and it's a neon green and it just reminds me of like a tennis ball <laughs> I know that's weird but it I feel like it's a perfect match with a tennis ball um, I don't think that the camera can pick up how unique these colors are because I haven't seen them like this one it's is gorgeous Number 23 is called Savage and it's another hot pink. Um, the other one turned out to be a bit more darker than I expected it to be, but this one is definitely a hot pink. So you can see it there. Number 24 is called Nan Nanny Pan and it's a beautiful blue. I am in love with this color. It's just so gorgeous. Number 25 is called Izzy. And it Izzy with an I and the Y at the end. <laughs> and it's a beautiful purple shimmer, I would say. And this one is on the sheer side, but then again, it's a shimmer. So they are usually on the sheer side, but that's just beautiful. Look at that shift. Oh, I love it. Number 26 is called Andy and it's a beautiful camo green kind of color. And oh my God, look at that. That's one coat and it's thin. It's beautiful. 27 is called Fussy Fay, and it's such a beautiful glitter. It's like a rosy, pink, 
pink glitter but it's so gorgeous number 28 is called Abbey and it's a very light purple like pastel purple and it's just yeah every every single one of these colors is gorgeous so I don't have any more to say <laughs> number 29 is called summer and it's a beautiful pink I just love how much variety this collection has so you don't have only one pink and that's it you've got like loads to choose from which is exactly what my clients want for 30 is called Alicia and it's like a denim blue I don't know how else to describe it it's a very very desaturated blue I know it looks a lot more bright on camera but it's actually a desaturated blue number 31 is called Adam and it's a oh my god that's gorgeous it's a beautiful linear glitter look at that and then over black oh my god this is gonna be so wanted <laughs> <laughs> Number 32 is called Brenda and it's a beautiful kind of a purple, desaturated purple with like flexes of green and blue I would say and it does need building up I would say it needs two to three coats to get a perfect color payout but it's gorgeous. Number 33 is called Isaac. Isaac. I, I I can't say that name properly. <laughs> and is just is the perfect yellow. Just perfect. Number 34 is called Ness and it's a pastel yellow and it's so pigmented and beautiful. It's gorgeous. Number 35 is called Lily and it's a beautiful lilac color and you can see again the pigmentation in this is gorgeous which is quite hard to find in like really pastel -y colors but yep. Yeah. 36 is called Finn and it's a gorgeous gorgeous blue. It's basically that perfect blue that everyone should have in their collection again it's quite pigmented as you can see it's a thin layer and it still holds its pigment very well number 37 is called Mick and it's your staple green again something that everyone should have in their collection because trust me when that certain client comes in and she looks at all your 300 400 600 colors and you don't have this green and she's very upset with you you are gonna regret it that you don't have it <laughs> number 38 is called Deca I hope I'm saying all these names right and it's like a I don't even know how to call it it's like a mint blue because <laughs> it's not green but yeah I, I don't know how to call it again the camera doesn't pick up the proper color of this but it's very pigmented and beautiful number 39 is called Ponyo and is just a coral orange I would say yeah I would call it a coral orange but it's, it's beautiful and finally number 40 is called Cola which I'm guessing comes from Coca-Cola and it's your staple brown beautiful chocolatey gorgeous color decided to also show you how does the uh, top coat supply so this is the shiny top coat and it's very nice and very thin and it applies beautifully actually look at that so i've got no like separation i have nothing going on it applied gorgeously 
and also when cured it has a perfect shine you can see that it's yeah this top coat is perfect and then for the matte top coat is quite a thicker formula but it's normal with matte top coats to be a bit thicker and again it applies really easy it's not sticky it's not gloopy it's just gorgeous I'll cure that and uh, I'll show you how it looks and this is it cured and it is incredibly matte like you can see there is no shine bouncing off of that nail it's like it just kind of you know soaks all the light in um, however with the top coat base coat and uh, matte top coat the best um, thing is to you know kind of test them out and see how long they uh, can actually stay like this so how long does this stay shiny how long does this stay matte how long the base coat stays on without chipping but that just is gonna take time to test out and see you know what your impression is um, otherwise by from first impression these are absolutely incredible so my final thoughts about this whole uh, bundle um, first of all the packaging is beautiful I know that the box that uh, they came in was a bit damaged but it didn't damage anything else inside and also at the end of the day it's cardboard you know it's no one's fault that things sometimes slide around in a car um, then I have to say the uh, top coats and the base coat I cannot say my opinions on them until I actually test it to see how long they last uh, same with the gel polishes I cannot see about you know how uh, the durability of them is but I, I do trust that they're gonna be fine. They they acted completely fine with me. Uh, nothing wrinkled at all. I did put uh, really thin coats, but I could have still had a bit of wrinkles. I didn't at all. So they they acted beautifully in the lamp. Um, then the whole thing comes with the pigmentation, which is I think it's ab absolutely beautiful on what it's supposed to be. So you have a lot of uh, different types of polishes in, uh, in this collection. Uh, you've got the little shimmers that obviously they, they can be quite see-through sometimes, but if you want to get rid of any of this patchiness, you can always go with a color that it's kind of similar and just pop that underneath and then you're not gonna have any issues. You're, you can probably get away with like one coat of shimmer and one coat of this and that's that's perfect so make sure you you look out for that the creams all of them i thought they are extremely nice um then we have the bigger glitter which again can be a bit patchy but you can always put a red underneath this or a black and that's not that's gonna get rid of the patchiness and then obviously this one is supposed to be see-through anyway so you know <laughs> it doesn't matter um, and then we had a couple of them that were a bit maybe neon -y, uh, which I think added a lot to this collection because she really let you uh, like sample everything in this collection so you had the neons you had a couple of colors that were like glass which I absolutely love, like the jelly colors. Uh, so these are always gonna be a bit see-through, but that's because how, that's how the color is. So you, you can't really try to build up this. You can always put it on top of something else to make that color as pigmented as you want, but it's always gonna be a bit see-through because that's, that's how they are, uh, obviously. <laughs> and then we had a couple of... Um, really fine like shimmers and again these were a bit see-through but because the actual base that they are in is jelly like they are gonna be see-through so if you want to prevent that again put the color underneath and they're not gonna be see-through anymore so you know um, otherwise the color selection I think it was absolutely incredible she did such a great job selecting 
these colors and she added so much that you wouldn't get normally in a, like a first collection um, where she added the two different reds which I was quite impressed that she had that because I have clients that I show them a red and in my opinion it looks like any other red but then in, in their opinion it doesn't so they always look for different reds I don't know why uh, <laughs> so yeah I'm, I'm very very impressed that they were both in there and then we had a couple of pinks well quite a few pinks to choose from and then obviously we had that dark purple and then we had lilac two pastel lilacs which i think they are beautiful they are a staple um and i have a lot of clients that lean towards these type of colors and then you had the green and then you had uh, all kinds of different uh, shades of colors that you don't see in a lot of the um, uh, normal collections that's that's what i mean <laughs> and then there are a few unique ones i know the camera doesn't pick this one up but it's number 30 and as i said it's like a denim blue kind of color and it's gorgeous and i haven't seen it anywhere before so i'm happy i have this one now <laughs> but uh yeah i think this is a very nice well-rounded collection now biggest issue is did it deserve 659 pounds and 99 pence and I have to say yes it did it's a very nice high quality product and obviously the lamp is a very nice quality and everything else that came with it it's of great quality and I can say I'm not disappointed at all I am very happy I spent that money I am very happy that I uh, I got all these new colors to play with because <laughs> I really needed some more colors um, and yeah so I really hope you enjoyed today's video I really hope I did this um, whole collection justice I um, also am sorry because I know I said that this is gonna be a normal video but then right now it's not a normal video but next week, I promise, I'm going to come back with more tutorials. Um, if you haven't been here before, why not subscribe? I mean, I do loads of tutorials for beginners, for advanced. Apparently, I do hauls now. If you want to see more hauls, let me know. And I, I like to spend money and I like products and I need all the products in the world. So I always have like a box coming in <laughs> from somewhere. So if you want to see more holes and first impressions, please let me know. And um, yeah, I guess until next time, um, bye.